What's up folks, Kevin Ella from ksound.com Here with another video, just wanted to show you guys real quick how cool it is to sample inside of the new design that Persona's updated Studio One with, which is Sample One XT. Now if we take a look at this instrument here, I briefly talked about it before in another video, but we didn't really dive into this part where you record. Like any other sample, you can definitely drop a sample in here and you can make it do whatever you want to do across the keys here but the thing is i think the thing that makes this even more powerful you could change the input of this thing i am working with battery 4 right now and i have a couple of samples that i'm playing with in the kit right i have other libraries that are similar to this where there's this one gorgeous golden sound that is is like man but how do I pitch it up or down? Now that sample one allows you to do so, now I can change keys whenever I feel like it. All right, so we're gonna go to record here and then we're gonna select the input part and then we can just go to whatever instrument we want to record from. The other cool thing is how I can change the, the instrument here. So I can be on sample one like the channel itself and select battery four and I could be triggering battery four without this being highlighted which is super cool all right so this is the sample that I want to record and so there's two ways I can do this I can actually hit record and it'll record for me or I can hit gate record which means that it's going to wait for me to hit my threshold which is right here so I can set my threshold and then this right here is where it's going to stop. So if my audio gets uh, gets low enough to hit this this point, then it will stop recording automatically. I used to do this on the NPC all the time and get the the samples on point all the time. So in this case, I'm I'm gonna set my bottom threshold rather rather low, right? Somewhere around there. And I'm going to deactivate the gate record just so I can so I can get a whiff of where I want to start recording. So so my my sample will start recording right around here. Other cool thing is labeling everything, right? Let's label that chord or whatever. I can change the resolution. I think 24 bit is fine. And then I can say where I want this to insert. So I can choose where I want it to fall automatically. So I'm thinking, let's go for B1. That's fine. Whatever. Also, in case you were looking to be more precise in where you want to close or open your threshold, you can definitely dial it in. If you got a certain number in your head you want to utilize, you could definitely do that from here. And then when you're done recording everything, Everything will fall in place over here. So let's go ahead and set gate and let's record. All right. So now I can go back to the waveform and we can take a look and see what we recorded here. And I'm going to just switch back to sample one. Right. Now we have the parameters at our fingertips in regards to doing whatever we need to do for a normal sample, right? I felt like the attack could be adjusted just a tad bit. Now I want to change keys. So what we do here is, okay, my root note is B1. And then my low note is obviously B1. Say I wanted to go all the way an octave higher. So. Now, you're thinking that's cool. We changing, you know, we changing the, the keys or whatever. But what if I didn't want to change the sample rate? I didn't want it to speed up. I wanted to keep it same length, but just change keys. And this is where you hit follow song tempo. 
So this is pretty much stretching the sound. So it's keeping the length of the sample. That is cool. I like that. I'm not going to go into all of the functions or whatever, but I just wanted to show you guys how cool and easy it is to record a really cool sound from another instrument you have within Studio One and not worry about bouncing in place and then re-importing and then change the pitch to it. it that, that's just... That was just a long way of doing things, so I'm very grateful for this new design. So now I'm going a step further. We can go ahead and save this sound. We can just click here and we have two options to save. We can say, well actually three, because we can store it as default preset. So that means anytime you load up sample one XT, these settings along with the sample will be right there in your face, right? But in my case, I want to store the instrument and the preset together so that whatever I did here will always come up and then if I need to make derivatives or any adjustments that's fine you know alright so we're just going to hit OK and so now that's saved in our preset folder so anytime I need to recall this for any reason I can go ahead and pull this up that's all I got Kevin Ella from ksound.com remember music is art you're the artist paint your picture stay creative without rules enroll right now and unleash the creativity that lies within you ku.creative.com creative university stay creative without rules one more thing if this voice intrigue you and the music make your soul move my name is emma thank you <laughs> i'm done